Bad plays games. But what do we do now? That's the question. Oh, we need hatcheries and stuff. So I think we'll put those in the line with this because I don't anticipate needing that much space here. Like, this isn't going to go all the way to the end, I don't think. So it looks like it's going pretty well. All right, let's talk about grainy food and what we're going to do with it. For grainy food, we're going to do our yellow, blue, and purple slugs. Do we want to maybe go this way? Hmm. Oop, don't fall off, don't fall out. Maybe we do want to go that way? Go out over those belts to give us room? Let's not worry about it right now. That's, that's the thing about this is, it is easy. If I can bring myself to do it, redesigning these things and setting them up again is quite easy. So let's try to remember how this works. All right, so let's make a blue system here. Let's see. So let's add a slug terrarium now. I can actually bring it pretty far this way. So if I remember correctly from when we did this before, the center port is for food. So let's, let's grab a sender. All right, I can't build a sender because I don't have cable. So I have to go and just run up there and grab cable. And I'm gonna go over there and grab blue slugs and eggs and yellow slugs and eggs and pink slugs and eggs or purple, I mean. I guess the white and everything. I'm gonna bring all that stuff over here. And then, uh, and then we'll get to this. All right, I did my quick running. Let's drop down a container. And then let's see what I got. I got blue eggs, I got yellow eggs. I got, what color is this? I got lime slugs, blue slugs, purple. I got one violet and I have no idea where that came from. The white, the yellow. Purple eggs. Did I grab blue slugs? Surely I did, yeah. All right, so we'll grab those. Set up a blue one, blue little area. All right, let's first go back to, let's go for, let's first go back to storage network, fax item sender, and right in the middle, Gonna send the food. Okay, let's find some grainy food. Okay, now with five slugs on each side, they're going to create... No, they're going to consume three per minute, as shown right here. And they're going to make 7.5 eggs per minute. So here we're going to output the eggs. And we're going to put them into a slug hatcher. Okay, and now we need the incubator. Okay, now we need to add an incubator module. Can't remember if we need to add a temperature module or not. Nope, that's perfect right here. Okay, let's grab a smart splitter. Because we have to plan for the variations. 
So to the left, we'll do any undefined. And through the center, we're going to do blue slug eggs. Uh, sorry, blue slugs. And then right here, we'll add a regular splitter. And this is going to refill our hatchery. Okay, so now we've got five and five. We're making 15 eggs per minute. And yeah, and then we'll put them into the storage bin. This is for the variants. Oh, right, I'm a dummy. I stepped away to eat. I thought this would come back and be like, oh, we're gonna have so many cool, uh... oh, we did get a bunch of yellow um, mutations already. But then it just stops. <laughs> So, what can we do with that? We can set a right to overflow. Yep, okay, so that's what we'll do. And then, we need to move all of these. So let's do that really quickly. Okay, I'm having a mare placing these belts. I'm just getting a bit of a headache, to be honest. There. It's good for now. And I love it, I'm happy. Okay, let's extend this down. And do the same thing right here. Let's measure it. It is on one, two, three, in a little bit. So we'll call it four foundations. So we've got one, two, three, four. This has to go just on the side here. Line it up. Perfect. There, and now we can build everything the same for the next color, which is going to be yellow. So we'll grab a sender. Okay, we're gonna turn this to grainy food. Uh, we'll grab a splitter and put it right in line with that input port. Perfect. Then, let's see how we did this. Oh, right, the hatchery. For this, we're going to need an incubator module. And we're going to need a temperature module. And I can't remember if we're going to need a humidity module, so I'm not going to install one quite yet. Now we'll do a smart splitter. Where is it? Right here in the center. And then for this one, we'll do yellow. These need to be the slugs. To the left, we're going to do any undefined, and to the right, we'll do overflow. <clears throat> because we need to capture the mutations again, and then we also need to capture the slug color we're after, in this case, yellow. And 
and right there. And I gotta go get collect parts again, of course. Hmm, well, it didn't space like I wanted it to, though. Okay, uh, uh, kind of obvious afterthought. I should probably put all of this in a blue printer so I can just drop these down. So, let me finish this one really quick, because we're just about done. Although, I'm having trouble... I don't know why. Hmm... Oh, I suspect... I suspect this one's closer than that other one. Doesn't look to be. Alright, let's move it one more over. Yeah, that looks better. I think that explains my discrepancy in the spacing. Okay, let's grab our mutants now. We got our little sluggy mutants. And we can split them into here. Humidity is not right. We need humidity to be 55 to 80. So we need this to go up to. 55. I mean, the temperature to be 18 to 32, which it is. So this should start as soon as that hits 55, and we're good. Brilliant. Let's go make a blueprint and save ourselves some hassle. All right, let's build it up here. That way I can check and make sure I do it correctly. All right, let's start with the slug terrarium. Now we just need to put this in the center, like so. And then we'll do a slug hatchery. All right, we'll do the slug hatchery and we will move it one space further. And one space backward. Uh, am I deaf, dumb, or blind? Don't answer that. Okay, now this one ends in the halfway, halfway area, and this one needs to sit directly on the halfway here. So it goes right like that, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, smart splitter though. Now we need an awesome sink storage so we can put it right in here. All right, that wasn't, that was misaligned a little bit. Yeah, that's better. I think I'll leave the, what are these called, um, the modules off the blueprint, because I don't know, that way I don't have to use parts I don't need to. All right, so here we're going to use a sender now. This will be for the food. Okay, and now let's take it and rotate it that way. Okay, move it out. There, I like it just like that. And then we'll need a splitter. Right like that. There, and now we're going to need, let's see, a power pole, and we'll want to mark two power pole. So we can hook up all, what is it, four items?
All right, the right one is going to be overflow, and the left one is going to be any undefined, and the center one is going to have to be changed based on what we're breeding. But we'll select blue slug for this to remind us of that. I think we're all done now. And this should do it. As soon as we get up to 55. There, we should be fully stable now. And this is going to get us lime variant. And since we were doing yellow slugs, and our first foray into farming over there, we have some yellow, uh, we have some of those already, which is cool. Let me go see if I have any more yellow slugs since I messed that up a little bit. Oh yeah, I've got a hundred. I finally broke down and built this hypertube just to go back and forth because um, with the jetpack I have to go down and then up and then down and then up and this this will save some time because I keep having to run back and forth. But we have the yellow, yeah, the yellow saturated and the blue, and we can still do purple with the food that we currently have being made. So, let's do that, we'll try out our new blueprint. Let's go something like that, and then out, like that. And then let's go to blueprints, and I've called it Mark 1 Breeder. And yeah, let's see. <laughs> Probably like that. Does that seem kind of right? Does this seem perfectly lined up? Let's see, does this seem perfectly lined up? Yes, it does. All right, I think that's good. Okay, what do we do now? Now we need to... Let's see, we need to... Let's talk about the process of using this blueprint. I've set it down, I know I want purple slugs, so I need to change this to purple. And I think that's, yeah, that's all I have to do here. And then if we take eggs that we have, for example, now, and put them into here... This needs a better temperature. All right, we can take a purple slug and put them in there, and a purple slug and put it in here. All right, so now we need to know, excuse me, now we know we need 44 to 60% humidity and 44 to 62 degrees Celsius. So let's add an incubator module, a temperature module, a humidity module. Probably should have put the incubator module on the blueprint since we'll always need one, but I'm not fussed. 44 to 60, 44 to 62. So the temperature is at 25. So we need to go 20 higher. So I think it works like this, 20 higher. Then we need to go to 44% humidity and we're already there. Ah, uh, here's where I got that violet slug before. My eye must have not noticed that, but that's the it's weird that the violet spins off the purple. Oh, no power. Right. There, we should be good. And that's all there is to it. Oh, but they're not being fed. Until I hook that up. And then grain food. Grainy snail food, I should say. Mm, let's just test this. There we go. And it stopped. Yeah, so we're perfect. I'm loving it. This blueprint was an excellent idea. That's completely saturated. Here's where we're going to get our mutations. Everything is awesome. All right, but that's all we can do with the grainy snail food, right? Let's go back to our beautiful chart from our friend of the channel, Jack. I'm not sure what slug to do next. These ones can go into violet. These ones into, what was it, lime? Yeah, lime. And then this one has that chance at white. And I do have some white, so I think white might be the ones I should do next. What do white turn into? 
Hmm, I'm not sure, but they need healthy snail food. Can I make healthy snail food even? I mean, we're gonna need to get rid of that. Blue printer is not supposed to be there. Whites need healthy. What do lime snails, slugs need? They need healthy as well. Okay, it looks like healthy is where we're gonna go next. So let's um, figure that one out. We need carrots and potatoes. Let's check our chart again. All right, and you'll see here that lime and white actually are the only two that use healthy. And then to get one fully going, we need 60 per minute of healthy food. So let's shoot for 60 per minute. 60 per minute healthy snail food means we need 20 per minute potatoes and 20 per minute carrots. Let me think about this again real quick. I think I'm confusing myself. To the grainy snail food, we need 90 per minute. So we need 30 per minute carrots, 30 per minute wheat. We have 60 per minute carrots. Wait, but we don't get 60 per minute seeds, do we? No, we don't. No, we don't. We only get 30 per minute seeds. What did I say this would need? This would need 60 per minute to give us 60 per minute carrot, but we need 30 per minute carrot. And that's what we have. So, I'm confusing myself, but I think what we need to do is just increase. Yeah, let's increase this number. I, I'm sorry, I've been kind of babbling. We make 30 per minute carrots. For the grainy food, we needed 30 per minute to make 90 grainy food. But now to make 60 healthy food, we just need 20 more per minute. So if, if I double the seeds from 30 per minute to 60 per minute, we're gonna get 60 per minute carrots, but only need 50. Yeah, there, I clearly stated at that time. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to add a merger right here. And... So we're gonna add a merger. Right here, if we can. Yeah. And then we're gonna add another one of these, exactly the same. All right, and let's bend it. Let's go one, two, that way. And then put dirt in this one again. And then this needs to be dirt. There we go. There. So now by doubling the seed extractors we have, we're gonna get 60 per minute wheat seeds using 60 per minute dirt. And remember we have 120, or 240 even actually, I can't remember. Right, here. What's happened here? It's just stopped. The system kept jamming this smart splitter. Um, some of the seeds would get through right there. I don't know if it was because I added these faster belts, making a Mark III. I don't know what really happened, but it kept happening over and over again. So I finally put an overflow system on and then merged it into this container. <laughs> and look, it's you know, only this many got through, but it was doing it consistently before. It was very strange. But anyway, we've doubled up our seed production now. So yeah, let's, hmm, what do we do now? Now we need to build healthy snail food. So we need carrots and potatoes. All right, so let's take the next step. Uh, I really don't want to math all this out, so <laughs> I'm not planning on doing that. I'm just gonna add another farming platform, Mark 1, and then, and then just add the crop plots and just make them potatoes. We'll just do 
four plots of potatoes should be fine. So let's do, we need three more crop plots. We're gonna need four harvester modules, four greenhouse modules. Make all of these potato. And let's see, yes, we need power. And then the sender. Just like that. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah, and we'll be again. Ready to goes. And bed's your uncle. Hook the power up, and then once we connect this to the Faxit network, we hit potatoes and potato seeds, rather. And now we've got our potatoes. All right, and now we get to go and make some food. So we need just one machine. We need 60 total is all we need of healthy snail food. So we just need one machine and we have to add water to this one. So let's... Let's see, yeah, we could probably, we could definitely just split this off. There. So now we've got carrots, and now we've got potatoes. Potatoes. Upgrade the power pole to mark two. Select healthy, and now we need water, so we'll need a fluid sender. That's gonna drive me nuts. Okay, it's destined to drive me nuts. <laughs> That's fine. I'll get over it. There we go, now we've got water. Boy, this is... I know I said what I said about the Faxit system. <laughs> but this, setting it up for this is just... Mwah. I love it. I just remembered that the white slugs are in the power slugs tier somewhere. Oh, okay. So we need... Um, to get the time module, we need the white slugs. So I was thinking that perhaps the white slugs were locked behind something, but that does not appear to be the case. Now we get to use that healthy snail food to do some breeding. Which colors are we doing? The healthy is giving us lime and white. Lime and white. Let's start with... Well, honestly, I don't care. Let's get out a blueprint, mark one breeder, and then let's... Set it down right here. Wow, I don't know why I stopped talking. It happens a lot, but this is perfect. Seven more missing resources. What does that mean down there? 
Oh, I think maybe they're just off the list. I love blueprints. I don't know why I don't use them. I just... I don't think about it. <laughs> okay, so let's do... White Slug. And... That's it. Let's see, what else do I need to do? I need to change... Yeah, there, I need that. I need to select healthy green, or snail food. I need to get white slugs. And we'll need to figure out what they like. Okay, the white guys. Let's consult our chart. White slugs. On 32 to 42 temperature. Okay. 32 to 42, so we want to increase this about seven. Close enough. And the humidity, we want it. We want it to be 20 to 40. So we'll drop this down just under 40. And then once those finish transitioning, we'll be done. All right, for this, we're going to need the incubator module, temperature module, and humidity module. Okay, now once we adjust the temperature and humidity in these, what, incubators, then we'll get some hatching. Pretty sure. It looks like we can get purple, Lime. Oh, and an unknown one. Very cool. Alright, let's hook this up to the Faxon network and this up to the power grid. Choose healthy snail food again. And. Which one are we doing here? That's right, we're doing lime this time. Lime. So, perfect, we've got three from there. And I think maybe, oh, a boatload over here. Yeah, we only need 10. All right, and normally for fun, I would probably wanna, you know, test this and see, but I'm just gonna use the chart because I don't have that kind of time. All right, so the lime slugs prefer 10 to 23 degrees and 55 to 100% humidity. Oh, we're missing the fluid tank for this as well. Interesting. Let's pull out our handy dandy ma'am. See if the fluid tank is in there. Yeah. Let's go see if we can turn some of the polymer over in that little tiny oil. Let's see if we can turn that into what we need. Yeah, so I can run an item sender. Run the polymer. Polymer resin into it. Turn this middle to overflow. Perfect. And I think we could make the fabric just down here. We kind of have a random smattering of um, items being made, so let's just stick with the <laughs> stick with that motif. Okay. All right, we got an item sender. We need a fluid sender. And then, yep, just need to hook these up. This we need water. This we need polymer resin. This needs electricity. And of course I chose the wrong output. <laughs> anyway, then we'll stockpile and have fabric, which is pretty cool. Bad plays game. Bad plays game. Bad plays game. Bad plays games. Bad plays games. Bad